What is up guys, Patrick right here, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're checking out Rolf's new FPS, it's called Unit Classified, I don't know if they're gonna keep it as Unit Classified, it might be something different later, I don't know, I just feel like Classified is a very long word, and it will suck for titles, but other than that, uh, we're gonna be checking out this game today, and you guys might see some similarities to a game called Unit 1968, which was, uh, I think, made by their co-team on Rolf, it wasn't made by the actual devs, I think they helped a little bit, but it was made by a co team that was a part of role i don't know i don't know everything that's just what i was told all right that's that's the best i got for you anyways this game is very unique it, it's taking a lot of things from other fps's that i played my uh, personally and i really do enjoy anyway as you can see our loadout section here for loadout you have primary secondary perk uh, equipment equipment two and each of these have points uh, along with these that's what the zeros are for but as you can see at the bottom budget zero out of 10 you can also see your weight so obviously the heavier you are the slower you're gonna run to start off we can uh choose a weapon that costs zero one two three or four and then you also have the uh, weapons that cost five as well they, they seem to more uh, seem to be more on the either the mo more expensive type of weapons that normally would cost more uh usually irl and or it's based around weapons that should be pretty good in the game for example the m14 if this thing doesn't one shot to the head at certain ranges then i don't know what they're doing but yeah, we're going to go with the cheaper weapon. I want to try to use the Mac so I can kind of customize as much as I can. But I am going to customize something real quick, the AUG real fast. So I can show you guys the point system and how it's actually going to work and how much it punishes you. Uh, if you want, if you want to have like your full setup. So you only have a total of 10. Four is already gone just by choosing the weapon. The attachments for the weapons also cost as well. So say you want it three times, that's going to cost two points. But we're going to go ahead and put a coyote on. I think this is supposed to be a coyote, pretty sure. And then we also have a grip as well well which i think is kind of bugged by the way so if we click this we can put a vertical grip on yeah it goes inside the other grip <laughs> and then we do have the option for extended as well flashlight or a laser and we do have muzzle as well compensator suppressor flash hider bayonet those are the options you have but we're practically already out of points just so you guys know just by putting those uh two attachments on the scope and the grip now we're basically out of out of points which is unfortunate because there's other points that you can use other way for example uh, other places for example pistols some cost more some cost less we can go for one that costs zero for example save we can put attachments on that if we want to and then perks now this is where things start to get interesting and i think they should rework this a little bit i don't know uh or add a couple more points i don't know because as of right now to get a good setup on your weapon your points are basically gone and i feel like this is gonna kind of hurt the creativity side of the game and keep in mind i do want the point system in the game i'm not saying i don't want the uh, point system in the game i actually really do like the point system but i feel like you are being punished and you're gonna it, literally the attachments that people are going to use is a scope and a grip that's that's all people are going to use i'm telling you that right now so being able to have more options for weapon wise for points would be nice because people are only going to use those two attachments and that's it and it's going to get rid of the creativity side of the game and it might ruin some fun for people anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this extended and put on a perk real quick um i'll probably put on let's see I might put on steady hands. It increases your 25% better recoil control. I'll do that uh, because apparently the AUG has some pretty big recoil. There we go. Hey, look at that animation. As you can see, you are going to get the typical valve or not valve. Rolf. What am I trying to say here? Let me redo that. As you can see, you can get the typical quality of games that you get from Rolf. Uh, their weapon models are very nice. Their animations are very nice uh, overall. Don't mind the grip inside the grip. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get killed by a pistol. Oh, thank God and not die. I have 74 HP left. Um, one thing I will say, this is something I really want to point out, is you do have the option of a pretty decent movement system in the game. Uh, there is a slide. You slide a little bit too long, in my opinion, and you can't ADS with sliding. Um, but maybe in the future, they'll adjust that where you can do that. I'm not too sure, though. Why can't I move here? There we go. We got a double. But one thing I will say is that their movement is not up to par with, let's say, Phantom Forces or Bad Business, uh, per se. But, I mean, it's Rolf. You still have the quality side of the gunplay. It is nice. I won't lie. But I think... Uh, the whole the whole thing i dislike the most well i like the point system but i dislike that we don't we're punished for trying to customize our weapon pretty much i, I kind of dislike that that's the only issue i have with the game right now everything else is nice like for example look at this smoke man they did such a good job on this and i don't drop insane amount of frames at all which is nice i can't see where i'm going though i'm literally lost okay there we go we got out 
There we go. Uh, by the way, everybody does drop ammo packs on the ground. So if you run over it, you get ammo back. Uh, so if you guys are playing this, <laughs> uh, you know where the ammo's at. By the way, if you guys would like to try this game out, uh, there's a link in the description down below. You just click the link, go play, and uh, come back and tell me your honest opinions on the game. If you like it or not, what you would like to see changed. Because it's very possible that the, or some role of dev, I don't know who would, but I think it's possible that one of them will come watch the video and read comments. Considering that my viewer base is more based around the type of um games fps genre first person shooters by that i mean this is more of like my style of game for example so i think i might be like a highlighted channel to read comments from considering the games i play and upload and yes they know who i am they uh i used to upload their unit 1968 game all the time kind of i was basically like one of the only youtubers that really did it nobody else really uh uploaded it too much and i really enjoyed that game by the way there are some issues obviously and they did use some of the stuff from that game for this game uh for example these images right here is from it the site is from it as well uh so I i'm really happy that they are actually putting some of the work from unit uh uh, into this game because i've always felt like they really missed their huge opportunity with unit 1968 and i was really disappointed when they decided to not work on it anymore but i'm happy that the actual main devs and probably the ones that made unit uh, as well are working on this together so uh i believe they're part of the same development team but they're like split up because the people that worked on arsenal weren't working on unit that, that's what i was told i don't know if that's 100 percent but what i was told my god, there's so many people right there. So apparently I can call in stuff with battle points. Oh, look at this. Mortars, chemicals, smoke mortar. Oh, this is cool. Let's drop this down here somewhere. Drop it back. Wait, they're spawning over here now. Wait a minute. I just dropped that over there and they're not even over there anymore. Well, let me, let me. Oh yeah, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. I think this is it, boys. I don't know how long it takes to call in, though. What? What do you mean you get that? Hey, you better call in my... Hey, okay, dude. All right. Apparently, they didn't get that, boys. Look how many battle points I have. 2,000. I'm disappointed. I wanted to get all those kills. You see how many there were? <laughs> yeah, but that's really cool. That's something that was in Battlefield 1 and 5, I believe. Uh, it could have been just 5, though. But I think it was in 1, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let me delete all this and show you the possibilities with using something cheaper. Let's go for a weapon that costs zero. Let's go with Grease Gun. Uh, grease Gun's cool. I like the Grease Gun. I think it's a great weapon. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to put on that. Uh, we can put on a laser as well if we wanted to. Flash Hider maybe so we can see a little bit. And we're going to click save. Look at that. This weapon and putting all those attachments on costs the same amount as just the base AUG weapon. That's it. The AUG weapon costs four. This costs four to put the attachments on. Now we have room, say, if we want to throw on a Deagle for it. And we could also throw on an Extended if we really wanted to. Put that on. Save. Look at that. We still have another point for a perk as well. We can do marathon with uh the combination of wait we have 55 weight on this that's a lot won't lie but there we go we got two weapons stacked and we also got a perk with that for using a cheaper weapon recoil is not that bad it has more horizontal than vertical uh so hopefully it's not too bad but let me show you guys this animation dude this thing is so sick look at this ready ready <laughs> They should hire me for sound effects. I'm great. Yeah, but I'm actually very excited for the future of this game. I really am. That's my teammate. That's not my teammate. We got him, though. We're fine. All right, apparently I have an airstrike now. So we might call that in. Okay, we're losing C right now. Let me see if I can get over here and call this in. Oh, chemicals. We can do chemicals. Okay. Let's call that in right there. All right. Nice. All right, they're sending over the chemicals, boys. I got you. Don't worry. I hope I don't kill teammates with that. <laughs> her, her, like, calming voice out of nowhere, and then you hear, Objective secure. <laughs> but, hey, they do have voice lines, which I really like. So, uh, I'm actually a big fan of the voice lines. They they can get annoying, though. So, hopefully, you can disable them. Uh, because they could get really annoying in the future. Okay, the spawn flips are way too, way too much on this. I had to run all the way back over here now. All the way over there. These games go by way too fast, and the spawns flip way too much. I literally only seen a, I seen I got two kills. I seen maybe five people max. I hope they don't take a long time to add an FOV slider in this game like they did with uh, Arsenal. I can't see a thing. Okay, noted. Don't put a sight on this. Gotcha. Will not do that ever again. <laughs> this this is definitely gonna be my go-to weapon uh, at full release of this game. I'm just telling you that right now.
Guy bottom left here. Looks like teammate got him. Ooh, okay, we got him. I think they should limit classes or like weapons you can have on how many weapons you can have on the team. I know that takes away from uh, having fun, but I don't know. I feel like um, a whole team of snipers might be too dominant on this map, for example. Oh my God, the amount of people over here. I'm dropping it right there. No, I would have got so many kills, dude. Will we see it come in? Oh, <laughs> look how many I could have had. Oh my God, I would have killed them all. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, unit classified. I, I really do like this game. I can't wait to see the... Hey, man. This is what I'm talking about, the voice lines. They can get annoying. I'm trying to do my outro, and he's just talking over me. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. It's too loud. Anyways, that's unit classified, and I really do enjoy this game. I can't wait for the future of it, and I hope you guys are also enjoying it. Uh, if you guys want to try it out, if you guys haven't played it yet, there's a link in the description down below. Uh, you can go favorite the game as well, so you can get uh, so you can see it updated every time you favorite or since you're favoring it, you can see it update. And I'll also keep you guys updated with every single new update comes out for this game. Uh, I'm very excited for all the future FPS games that are currently being made right now. There's so many. I think there's a total of six, I believe. Uh, so this is a great time to be a fan of FPSs on Roblox because there's a, there's a lot of very good ones being made right now. Super excited. I also have another FPS to show you guys very soon. Um, hopefully within the next two months. I'm really hoping that's when I can showcase the game to you guys because it's looking really good so far. Uh, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, a lot of PF players are going to really, really enjoy it. That's the biggest thing I can say. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below if you'd like to see more content on this. It'd be uh, very much appreciated. It does help out the video as well if you guys hit the like button. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Thanks for all the support. Peace out.